In this video today, we are going to be covering how to prepare an airway trolley, which is essential before providing any anesthetic. The airway trolley should be positioned in a convenient location during a general anesthetic, and during a regional technique, it must be easily accessible should a complication occur. This is how the airway trolley is laid out. I'm going to take you through in detail the individual components using the acronym IMALES. The I in IMALES stands for an introducer. The introducer is inserted into the endotracheal tube prior to induction of anesthesia and it's used to give shape to the tube. In the eye of eye males, I also include the gum elastic bougie, which is used in a difficult airway to pass through the vocal cords and then railroad your endotracheal tube over the bougie into position. The M stands for McGill's and for face masks. The McGill's is a uniquely designed forceps that enables you to pass a nasogastric tube, remove foreign bodies from the oropharynx, and to assist with passing the tip of an endotracheal tube between the vocal cords. You should have appropriately sized masks for pediatrics or for adults, and two sizes are needed. A stands for airways. Included in this are oropharyngeal airways, also known as Goodell airways. You should have three oropharyngeal airways, a size three, a size four, and a size five for an adult patient. A also stands for alternative airway. This typically is the laryngeal mask airway. There are various makes of laryngeal mask airway. You need to ensure that you have at least two laryngeal mask airways of an appropriate size for your patient. Included in A is also an archery clip. This is used to secure the breathing circuit to the table to reduce traction on the end of L stands for laryngoscope. You need to have two laryngoscopes on your airway trolley and for an adult case, a size 3 and a size 4 blade. Each laryngoscope needs to be checked for the quality of the light it provides. The more modern laryngoscope has a cold light source, whereas the older laryngoscopes have a bulb at the end of the laryngoscope and you need to ensure this is screwed on tightly. In obstetric anesthesia, it's preferable to have a laryngoscope with a short handle. E stands for endotracheal tube. Again, you need to have a range of sizes that is appropriate for the size of your patient. Having chosen an appropriately sized endotracheal tube, one then needs to check the integrity of the cuff One can then load the stylet into the endotracheal tube. First one applies some KY jelly to the tip of the stylet. This now allows for shaping of the tube. It's important to ensure that the stylet or introducer does not stick out the end of the endotracheal tube. S stands for sundries, which includes strapping, rigid Yankauer suction, syringe, KY jelly, HME filter, and ambu bag. Strapping or tape is used to secure the endotracheal tube. The rigid Yankauer suction is used to suction the airway at intubation or at emergence. The syringe is used to inflate the cuff of the endotracheal tube. The HME filter is used to prevent heat loss and moisture loss from the airway. The KY jelly is used to lubricate all airway equipment entering the mouth. It is essential to have an ambu bag in your theatre should you have problems with your airway equipment or your anaesthetic machine. One needs to check that the ambu bag is working. This includes checking the reservoir bag, ensuring that one has oxygen tubing to connect to your oxygen source and checking the valves of the ambu bag. This can be done by squeezing the bag against resistance and then emptying the bag and ensuring the bag fills up even when it is closed. 
and that's it.